this. No, oh, come but, on, man. I mean, like, what, what do you think of this? Okay. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> that, I, the little if, 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 if I ever, if I, I don't think I've ever seen a controller scream "kill me" before, but you know, <laughs> we're, we're here for new experiences. Hey everyone, welcome back to Linux Gamecast Weekly. The show covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how tos, and most importantly, you know what? Whatever the hell else we come up with, I'm Vin. That's Jordan. That's Foxy. One M Fox dog. You might know him from chat. He's our resident Pedro for this afternoon. Together with you, Shadrum Dynamic, Calvinus Forum, Cocaine, Voltron, gentlemen. Well, Jordan, me and you, are, we're still awaiting 2023. However, uh, Michael here has uh, managed to uh, hack. Living, living in the future, man. Right? Yep. How's, how's, the future? How, how, how's the flying cars? Have you, have you crashed them yet? Yes. Okay. Yes. Were you drunk? That's how I got the beard. That's what the beard's covering up the scars. The scars from the flying cars. Cars yes. and scars, man. Flying PBS. cars and scars <laughs> is my new indie band. <laughs> <laughs> yep. We make twee melancholy bullshit about nothing. Oh man, I'd be so done with that. So yep. what's new if you I don't even remember what day I did it. Was it Wednesday? I did the uh thermal Thurs- notebox Thursday. Thursday. It was Thursday, yeah. right? Because I was waiting on that thermal pad, which turned out to be a fun thing. Yeah, it was. If you tuned in, uh, I built a thermal note box, a little tiny seven liter, like micro, uh, micro Micro ATX. Yeah. Yeah. 5600 G crazy little heat sink. Uh, if you are a Twitch sub, that video is up. If you're a patron, uh, there's a link in our discord to the video on YouTube and I'll post that on Patreon later, uh, probably tomorrow. But yeah, what did it take? About four hours. I didn't want to cut into Jordan's time because he was doing borderlands. Well, you, what did you do? Armadillo? Yeah, we 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 did, we did some yeah. armadillo. We we failed to defeat a bot. Ah, yeah, a squirrel. You guys are rocking and rolling with that. I cut a little bit of that. Uh, you know, all things considered, doing a live build plus installing Debian Linux went a lot smoother than I was expecting it to. Yeah, I, I'm still a little sad that, that we didn't get to see any blood, sweat, and or tears. Mm. <laughs> no, you know, you saw it. doing this because I actively told everybody, "Is like hit me with the dumb stuff." You know, backseat, backseat, backseat. Because 99% of it's like, yeah, I know this. Yeah, I know this. Yeah, I know this. But there's still that going to be that 1% like, ah, thank you. So yeah. you, you got to fight that frustration the entire time of like, shut up. I know what I'm doing. And uh, no, it was a good time. It was a good time. Also, uh, this wouldn't fit in it. Space was such an issue. This guy. Yeah, yes. Yeah. SATA cables. Yeah. Very tricky. A right quite, angle because regular set of cable were like, no, this is not going to work. Uh, it won't, there's not enough clearance to get this ginormous fan that I'm holding on, um, 15 yeah. millimeter, uh, width. So then we're like, oh, right angle. And I think Pedro was the one that brought up his like, I think there was a right angle in the uh, motherboard box. Was no, like, that was yeah. me. Oh, it was, was you. All right. Whoever it was. was, it was one, one of you clever, clever boys. And uh, then I was like, yes, so we're not going to have to deal with uh, that. And we plugged that in, like, still wouldn't go in. So, no, <laughs> yeah, had to go under the board or something, didn't it? Uh, no, you just had it, to remove the fan. It was like, yeah. there, there wasn't enough physical room for the, the, for the reason, cable and, yeah. the, and the fan to like fit. This is the yeah. fan, and uh, it's going to remain out until the NVMe <laughs> drive, which is going to be your. Uh, it, it, it do, 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 does Noctua make little fans like that? Can you get like the most Dude, badass little was, itty bitty one? I was so mad. Um, okay, one, uh, Linus, not this one, the squeaky one, beat me to it the day before we did that. He did a video with the exact same fucking case, the exact same fucking motherboard. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, that, that, that's like showing up to a party dressed the exact same as someone else, right? Like- and I'm like, man, all right. In my defense, we've had this planned out forever. But what I did learn, um, he, because Noctua doesn't make a uh, 80 millimeter slim. Mm. Their slim doesn't start until 92 millimeters. Ah. So he had to take a regular 80 millimeter and like dremel half the bottom off to get it to fit in. Um, which I was like, you know what? I'm just going to use the stock fan and not deal with that. And (laughs) maybe I'll get a Corsair. Corsair still makes a slim 80 millimeter fan, which, you know, most people don't need 80 millimeters, but yeah, it works. It did the thing. Also picked up a $5 milkshake. Here's my, um, I had an APC, you know, power supply. 
battery backup woke up at like four o'clock in the morning and um like some didn't smell right so then you go explore right everybody knows that smell like some Ma- magic blue smoke right or yeah, something's about yeah. to turn into magic blue smoke right and uh I come in here, you know, doors closed, everything's clo- cut off in here. And I'm like, oh, hell, it is in here. I was like shocked, but I was instantly relieved because there was no actual smoke when I cut the lights on. I'm like, okay, I got time here. Something's about to go. And digging around with the nose on the floor. I'm like, ah, it was one of my um, little APCs that I have another one on the right side of this one where the USB was plugged in. I was just about to go. It was like, too hot to touch and I unplugged it. I'm like, ah, what was it? And I think it I think it was the same T that mm. uh messed up your HDMI splitter. Ah. Way back ah, in the day, okay. someone had drip down in there and it was like bridging one of the contexts. So, you know, this was not yeah. this was a five volt whatever, but uh yeah, that power supply power supply, that battery backup's gone, it's dead. And uh so I bought a power strip from APC. I recommend those now. That's it's twenty four dollars. I think it's a ludicrous amount of money to spend for a power power strip with usb charging on the end but man you could hang a horse with one of those yeah absolutely yeah it's what you want how about you festive happy new year boy oh i'm very very festive (laughs) my wife got them (laughs) she's like you should wear them on the show and so i said okay fine i'm fine with having (laughs) dumb stupid shit on my face last week i was a blanket (laughs) goblin so now Mm. Now I'm happy new year, Deedly Speaking Whopper. Speaking of that, how's the thermoregulation going? Uh, it's, that that seems to be working again, but I'm still like crazy congested and it's on and off. Right now it's happening, so I'm trying to not sniff super hard, but I got... It feels like there's just like shit tons of boogers just up my nose. I'm fighting the urge to just like jam a finger way the hell up there oh, and straddle man. it. Uh, it's, it's, it's the worst. It's Free the, the worst. traffic jam. Yeah, co- COVID, COVID still sucks a week later, it turns out. <laughs> Hopefully you're gonna pull through. Anything new and exciting going on and uh outside of the random explosions, I thought I would have more by now myself. Yeah, no, there haven't been too many random explosions. No, it's been it's been a pretty quiet week. I've just been been taking care of stuff at home. Uh yeah, yeah, yeah. L- l- lamenting video card prices mostly. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. So uh how about the horse? Is the horse still feeling it? I mean, the, 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 the horse is a little more recovered. It's, it's lungs are no longer scarified because they're just piles of goo. It's the steel. No sale, no sale, no sale. But how about this? I, I can't give you another sale. I'm steam. Hey, you know, we got a sale going on. Don't worry. Uh, not, like, not at least until February. Dude, if you can wait like three <laughs> weeks, we'll have another one probably. I'm Steve. Um, How about this? (laughs) How about I tell you the best of 2022 and break it down. Top sellers, new releases, most played early access grads, best of, yeah, whatever VR, Steam Deck, and of course, Notes, which they go through all of this and a couple of things that were kind of fun. You know, this is a nice little breakdown of everything that I just explained. The deck list includes like the most played games, you know, not like the most sold or the most played uh, measured by their daily active player counts throughout 2022, which is pretty neat. And okay, hang on. Let's go back up to the top here. We need to go to most played. What 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 am I thinking of? Um Apex Apex Legends, which is free to play. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. We got Dying Light 2. Didn't expect that. That 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 came out this year, so yeah, people people were excited about that. Right. And uh Call of Dude Bros. Too spooky for you. Elden Ring, games I haven't heard of. Nothing terribly crazy, Pub, right? PUBG Battlegrounds Ark. People, people are fucking playing Ark. Ark, Ark yes. is still Lost up Ark. here. Not that Ark. Another Ark. Survival Evolved, man. Um, <laughs> Raiders of the Lost Ark. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the uh, the the early access um, the early access grads uh, Vampire Survivors is up there, obviously. Uh, one one that showed up that has been uh, like interesting for me. I, I wanted to check it out. Is Hard Space Shipbreaker. Cause I saw an ad for it on a YouTube video where it's basically the, the entire point of the game is you have like these giant like spaceships and you got to disassemble them. And that seems kind of dope. And uh, that, that got on the gold list. Um, yeah. Th- I mean, we, we get, we get the full breakdown best of VR for, you know, the people who have VR beat sabers at the top there. Um, what new, most new releases, Ray, on Steam Deck. V, v rising. Yeah. Um, mo- most played a lot of, a lot of uh, fighting games on, uh, on Steam yeah. Deck. 
got Stray up there, we've got CP, Red Dead, some pretty big games you really think you wouldn't be playing Hades. on the... Yeah, 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 a lot of these that you would expect, right? Yeah. Like, uh, Persona, yeah. Um, g- games games that take a good long time are really good for the yeah. deck because you can just like pick up and play them for a little bit and then stick them down. And, people are still playing yeah. Skyrim. Jeez. People people are yeah. still playing des- Aperture Desktop Job Simulator, apparently. <laughs> At least Hollow Knight's up there. I like to see there. that. Shadow of War, that's a blast from the past. Sonic Frontiers? Oh, man. Okay, see, now, this is, now you're lying. No one's playing Gotham Knights. Come on. Now we know this yeah. is all bogus. <laughs> yeah. uh, Days Gone? Okay. Uh, okay, I could see Turtles, and I can see Final Fantasy. Yeah, there's nothing. One thing you're not seeing a lot of here is uh, FPSs. Yeah, you, you, got your, you got your Call of Duties. You got your, your PUBGs. PUBG's not a first-person shooter, though. That's third person. Right. Uh, now, yeah. so Jordan, I, I got a bet going on with myself. Oh, yeah. no, Do you think Michael's going to refresh on his end? Uh, okay. I, I don't is, know is, if he is, is or not. Is he? No. He might. Oh, know, hold, hold on. Let me, let me give me a kiss. Mm, oh, All right. That yeah, is, there we go. That is like, uh, like truly horrifying. But. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're welcome. Happy New Year. <laughs> so, uh, Michael, do you get any thoughts on the best of 2022? Anything caught your eye? Oh, uh, well, we've got the usual suspects there. We've got like Dota, Cisco, and all the others. And my video's gone again. Is it? No, you're still there. Okay, cool. All right, cool. And thanks to... I'm surprised that on the top sellers that Stray is not higher on the list. Because that did cause a bit of stir when it was released. Yeah, but then people played it for three hours and they were done. Yeah. 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 True, true. And of course, Yu Gi Oh! Yu Gi Oh! was up, up yeah. at the top. Yeah, pe- people, yeah, people are really liking those uh, children's card games that got uh, that got platinum on top sellers. I guess that's free to play. <laughs> it also had yeah. um, most revenue, also, you know, free to play children's card games, you know, microtransactions. <laughs> and Monster Hunter Rise is there as well. And so, yeah, there's a few little surprises here. Ah, yes, Destiny 2, that best game you can play on your Steam Deck easily <laughs> and not get banned. <laughs> Nothing too crazy. Now, Jordan, you're going to tell us why, what's really holding back the Steam Deck. Yeah, you know, it's it's a pretty successful console. Um, pe- people are really enjoying it. But what what is the hallmark of console gaming but exclusives? $70 so this, games? Yeah, eight, no, $100, $100 Canadian games, my ah, friend. Yes. $120 uh, yeah, this, so, so this article from PC Games and posits uh, from Ryan Easby, Steam Deck, it needs exclusives to you know make it competitive with all the other consoles sony has exclusives microsoft has exclusives it'll really really move units if the steam deck gets exclusives uh i you know i i I don't i don't think i agree with this just because like how dare you how dare you here, here, here's the thing exclusivity is an artificial marketing ploy to force people to buy to buy into an ecosystem. If you don't have the thing, then you can't play it. And if you want to play it, then you need to buy it. That is completely antithetical to the Steam Deck, the plays everything from every system ever console that that Valve is like Valve put Yuzu in one of their in one of their press screenshots by I don't and I don't think that was by accident. I think they were seeing no, no. what they could get away with. That, that was because, because yeah, because they know they know that like people are buying the Steam Deck because it plays literally all the games. Dude, I mean, here's the thing. I mean, this is what it boils down to. Like, this is like uh, basically saying, hey, can I get an exclusive game for my Acer laptop? Yeah. No. no, And, you know, if if that's the reality of it, no, you can't get an exclusive for your Acer laptop. Then you're not going to be able to get one for your Steam Deck. I got bad news for you. PC2 doesn't work quite like that. Now, will we see? Will we see games that have been, we've theorized about this, you know, since the Steam Deck's launch or announcement before that if it sells enough units yes you're going to see probably people trying to squeeze more performance out maybe going native having something optimized targeted using the deck as a target which is a good target and you know with proton but that depends on how many it sells it's not going to be an exclusive but steam deck doesn't need exclusives all right pc games it already has them it has exclusives from Nintendo. It has exclusives <laughs> from Sony, <laughs> motherfucker. Um, 
it, it kind of does have those Nintendo exclusive games, whether Nintendo yeah, likes yeah, it or that's not. That's what I'm right? saying, man. It already yeah, has yeah. exclusives on it, and you can carry it around, though. I mean, the best Switch, uh, the, yeah, what is it? Nintendo Switch, yeah, Switch you yeah. can have right now is a Steam Deck. And, but it did get me thinking, like, would there be a way to lock a game to a Steam Deck that just wouldn't be absolutely trivial to, um, I, th- I think by so, so I, I think what you would need to do is something that like takes full advantage of like all the hardware on the Steam Deck. So it uses the touch screens and the areolas and all the buttons so that like you'd have to have some like crazy keyboard layouts or some like really uncomfortable controller cords to like make it like work on a non Steam Deck system. I don't know. Or unless the processors on them have a certain code or or an ex- unique instruction that you can send to it, say. Hey, I'm um, this CPU, which is only in the Steam Deck. But I so mean, at the end of the that. day, that, that that can always be spoofed because as long as you have the binary, you can just change what that string true, is. True, true, is. true. Like, so yeah, it's not gonna happen. There's no oh come on, point. man! I mean, like, what, what do you think of this? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> That, I, the little if, few if, things. If, if I ever, if I, I don't think I've ever seen a controller scream kill me before, but you know, <laughs> we're, we're here for new experiences. Yes, yes. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. So we got a couple of new games to talk about this week, which is like, we're coming at, we're coming at the end of the dry times, right? Because holiday season, nobody really wants to mess around yeah. with it. People are busy Gen- getting January, drunk February, and March, right. CES, that, that, that's usually when the new stuff yeah. is Yeah, coming D3's out. coming back, uh, yeah. I think. A um, couple of new games, starting out with the interestingly named Future Race Tick. Get not rid of that. Fudo race. Yeah. Get yeah, rid of that. Yeah, yeah. That's a horrible name. You've been told that not just by me, but other people. I mean, call it Steven for all I care. <laughs> it's a futuristic racing game sim, <laughs> a f- racing game with sim physics. You take part in a racing event somewhere on Earth. Does that car have cat ears? Optic meow. Of course it uh, does. Of course it does. And, yeah. you know, hey, listen, it's sci fi racing sim. So that it ran out of the box here on Debian 11. Actually, Bookworm. Um, it is bare bones, though. Like, yes, I played it long bones. enough, picked up the Xbox controller, no problem, right out of the box, everything worked. As soon as you touched the wall, you died. So can we call this like the Dark Souls of sci-fi racing simulation? No, it needs, it needs more dodge rolling. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, need, no, need to be able to flip. Oh, man, let me drink like an Estes flask or whatever. Yeah, yeah we, we, we need, needs more iframe abuse. Uh, I'm not seeing bonfires. <laughs> We're going to need a bonfire, too. Uh, this is I, I've, I, I've exhausted the extent of my dark souls knowledge just you, you know you know i would actually say like in in, in terms of like actual game movement track mania mm-hmm. is probably the closest you're going to get in terms of dark souls to a mm-hmm. racing game yeah yeah uh one thing i did notice if you look if you're watching the video there's a like little bullseye there with a dot and it looks like a calibration thing which is like your g meter so i i saw that and i just immediately assumed all cows cows will be spherical in this game because like oh that one's definitely that 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 looks like that looks like a booty with cat ears yeah th- th- those are some curvaceous yeah. cars man yeah. I, i'm 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 feeling something and i'm not sure i like it <laughs> it's early well, access there is a demo michael you say it barely counts as a demo i think it counts as more than like a- i i think it doesn't count as a public demo i think no no it doesn't it really it's a, a public demo, demo. Really. it says it right there you download it and you're public and you can play a demo yeah hey. but it's so bare bones and so not polished so, or finished or anything would, would, it's more would like you say it's more of a vertical pitch. slice like, yeah it's more like you could something you'd pitch to your higher up saying i want to do this game here's what it might be like it it's, it's, it's a proof of concept. Okay. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, because I, I, I don't know how yeah. how how different is it from like the actual game proper. Don't, don't, hang on, he, he's describing what early access is since this game yes. is in early access. So. Yes, it is in early access, but you don't release a demo this early on in your development. See, you've gotten, you've well, gotten, why, you've gotten why, why not, though? Oh, man, no, see, y- y'all motherfuckers just gotten spoiled. See, Google went and fucked everything up because Gmail was in beta. <laughs> For 11 years. <laughs> Beta used to mean that shit barely would start. Now people's like, oh, no, it's a fully functioning product. I'm like, no, yeah, no, like, this is what a beta is right here, man. Yeah, it's like, no, hey. G- give people a little taste, see if they want to buy in. I think that's like perfectly reasonable to have a demo for your early yeah, access like, hey, you want to support this? Kick me some coin, and we'll see what we can make a game out of this. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Asking like, people for the money there, before the demo, game before mm-hmm. before gameplay, yeah, it's, it's, a, little, it's a little sketch. Mm-hmm. It's, it's basically but, yeah, Kickstarter, right? Yeah, down the... 
reflections a bit. You got a bit of glare there. No, I want ray tracing. Places. We need JJ. <laughs> we need JJ Abrams racing. Cows for rays. Uh, flight of the Nova. Man. It's been a long road. Yeah, I, this game gives me some some big faith of the heart vibes. Uh, but yeah, Flight of the Nova. It is a futuristic flight simulation. We're talking about a lot of futuristic sims. Uh, you have a VTOL aircraft that you can crash oh, dude, on the ground. It should be a explode. flight simulator from like the 1500s where you just go plummeting to Earth. And- no, no, yeah, no, you, have, you have like the, the, the corkscrew helicopter thing that you're just trying to get off the ground. Absolutely. Yeah, uh, yeah but uh, speaking like like, uh, like Futu Race, Futu Race, this one also has a demo, which I tried out. Yeah, there's uh, there's a little bit of a shortage of graphical options. You're going to need to utilize game scope if you want something like a windowed mode. But like and it also takes a while to load. But, you know, there there is game here. I, I landed the plane. It, it works. There's there's simulation. Um, it, it, it is very bare bones. It is an early access, but you can try it out before you buy. Uh, what, what are they asking for here? Uh, Flight of the Nova. Money. The they want money. Money. Oh really? Thirty nine ninety nine Canadian. Oh, it's, it's, it's a little, it's a little pricey for Whoa. what you're getting. Yeah, Forty three dollar um, reduce. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, that's a bit play, play the demo first. Jordan, see how if you're, dare if you're you, man? Graphics options are expensive, you know. They are. <laughs> Listen, I was surprised to just recognize the Dual Shock out of the box. Like, hey, PlayStation Four controller. I'm, I'm Good on you. Legitimately, pleasantly surprised, man. But, um, but like when it started off, it was like aspirational. I'm like, okay, I see where you're going. You want to do a little story with this, and it got um, into the game proper. And I'm like, ooh, my 3060 struggling at what I'm assuming is 2160p. And like, okay, let's let's pull up Mango Hut on this. Oh yeah, it's it's barely hitting 30. Let me just cheat. Literally, not a single graphical option. None. Yeah, nothing. Not windowed, not full screen, not uh, performance, not, you know, pretty, beautiful, fantastic, nothing. I didn't check if it was Unity, but you get what I'm saying. You get what I'm going yeah. at. And um, I, I, I wanted to play it. I wanted to play it, but I, I'm not doing this at 30 FPS because, uh, but. Jordan, you're just like game scope to the rescue, though. So. Pretty, pretty, pretty much. It runs less like butt if you have it in a 1080p window via game scope. Mm. Yeah, for 30 bucks. Let's, let's throw some graphical options in there. A, a, a little bit. <laughs> yeah, we need those graphical options. Yep. For sure. Uh, well, you know, if you don't want to fly, maybe you can run. This is Runner Party. It's absolutely not spe- speedrunners, mm-hmm. but it's pretty damn close. It is an, also in early access, um, and it's missing a couple of features like online multiplayer. It does have, a, according to it, it has LAN multiplayer. So and, yeah. do, 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 do you need like Hamachi or a VPN or something, or does Steam just have wrong information the the developer does say that I don't online know, do you, multiplayer do guys, is a, you, is you a feature of their and fuck with it my yeah might as well um but yeah no it, i mean speedrunners is a fun game this looks like it um it's not as like superhero-y uh not as many uh power-ups or but it looks like there's a little bit more variety in the in the types of levels and stuff the 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 character art is like the super deformed hipster pixel chibi things if that's what you're into yeah. but yeah. other than yeah. that it looks like it's just more speedrunners yeah, like Spelunky speedrunners or something like that, but a lot more detail. So yeah, character blindness at 300Ks an hour. But yeah, still no online multiplayer, even though this video says online multiplayer. No, oh, it does? Yeah, it does, right Where? at the end. <laughs> and it says uh, land, then Steam Overplay a few seconds later. Play local. So, or online. Does, does that come after? I didn't, I didn't know. Uh, then right at the end it says... Local, then Steam. <laughs> I don't right. know. Man. No, but if and yeah. and then if you actually read the uh, if you actually read the the blurb, the article, the blog post, yeah. they're saying that like uh, online multiplayer is a thing that's coming. So right. they have aspirations. So maybe I'll aspire to give you nine and nine once you uh yeah get that yeah. in. Yeah, we need that. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I mean, if you're uh, trying to, of course, you're probably listening to this. It is you've <laughs> probably dealt with speedrunners. We liked it. It's still a fantastic game. It's that minus all the, like the style and polish. That's where they're at yeah. right now with it. You can run it on Cento Seven though. That's oh, awesome. Oh, oh really? what? All right. I didn't that's, see that. That's, that, that, that's yeah. Cento oh, Seven or yeah. Steam OS. Okay. Oh, oh, so, oh. Hey man, maybe they tested it on the Steam Deck. Maybe yeah, they did. Run, run, run it on Rocky Linux. It's fine. <laughs> This next one kind of got me off guard. Uh, if you're of a certain age or if you're a hipster, you've played the original Punch-Out on the NES. 
you went back and you're like, hey. or, 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 or you watched the double blind speed run where two people with blindfolds beat the entirety of everybody yeah. has to watch that. That's just like, wait, you can do that. Ooh, look at that. And then you get down the rabbit hole of like blindfold speed running, which is its own category. And I'm like, neat. So I enjoyed playing that back in the day. I mean, it was even today when you, it's hard to get through the right lens of how good that looked. Big chunky sprites on the NES back then because everything was kind of small, little tiny Mario, but we had like these big guys are like, wow, this is so crazy. If you want to revisit that and you know, you checked out of uh, NES somewhere around, I don't know, super, this might be a good look. This might be a good look. Big boy boxing because it is just straight up hipster pixel punch out and it did work out of the box. There's a demo currently up right now. It's hard to uh, like. This maybe isn't this even is his like, final form. Yeah, it's kind of like super yeah. punch out with a little more polish to it. And uh, I had fun booping around with this, man. I thought it was like, this is kind of fun. It's got a little twisted sense of humor to it. And uh, I had a good time with it. Yeah, so some of the, some of the, some of the yeah, opponents, like you, you box a ghost, there's like a thing in a toilet. They're, 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 they're taking it, they're not taking it super seriously. Uh, and like the animation, it gives me like some Dragon's Lair vibes just with like how everyone kind of moves. Yeah, um, it's very morphy style of animation. Yeah. Uh, the, the, no, not so much, no funny stuff in the Linux system requirements, but the Windows system requirements is a little spicy. Oh, it is? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah uh, there is a demo the that you can download. All this is going to be in our show notes yep. after the fact. Let me take yep. a Windows. Uh, yeah, you need, you need kid, Kids Bop sound operating system <laughs> and, and a physical copy of Donkey Kong Country. What are you talking about? <laughs> Look at the no, recommended. Not, yeah. Recommended. Uh, graphic, storage, sound card. Uh, base wave filter, advanced sound gear. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Uh, also, buying my fresh merch is recommended requirement to start playing. Yeah, yeah. give 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 this guy more money <laughs> if you're gonna buy his game. Apparently, but yeah, no, that's that's it's a thing. It's, yeah, yeah. it's a punch out. We we don't have a lot. There's there's not a lot of punch out clones. You would think that there would be more. No, right? Right? See, I don't have a physical copy of Donkey Kong uh, Country Returns Tropical Freeze with new funky mode and on the Nintendo Switch as my processor. So. Yeah. Just grab the copy and just slam it in the PC. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just, 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 just stick it in the CPU slot, right? Like stick the yeah. stick the thermal pad on top of it. Hey, if you've always wanted to play um, like Super Punch Out and um, the you know once it went like full 3D, that was a little too new new for you, and you want to keep your hipster cred, go check this out. Definitely worth yeah, sure. it. Um, and please help. Please let me know that if that is actually Action Hank as the coach. No, I, I see. Okay, I, I got to assume like with the art style and what they're doing, they have to go lean hard into parody. Yeah, yeah. for a thing called like, legal defense. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Nintendo's a little uh, click on the quick on the yeah. dry. Yeah, yeah, because so, that is flat up action, Hank, right there. Um, possibly, Jordan. <laughs> let's bounce. All right. Well, coming up next, no one is buying new video cards. Oh. I wonder why. Oh. <laughs> Time. Oh man, that was fascinating. That was terrifying. And look, I'm still not Pedro. Ha ha, because I have on my own short. Uh, short? Short. Short. short? How would a short? short. Would it be like a one piece? Short. Would it be like uh, it, a it, leotard? It, 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 it would. It'd be like a crop top, right? A crop top. Yeah, I don't yeah. Know if I could wear a crop top. Big 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 you know, next next week I'll wear a crop anyway, top. Anyway, we're getting into the news, but before we do that, Jordan's going to tell you about a way you can make us all. Dollar your nares. Yes. yes. Give us money. Dollar make it because you know we're already independently wealthy. We're all just bathing in monies and coins and other filthy currencies. But if you want to, you know, I don't know, launder more of our money, head <laughs> over to patreon.com slash Linux Gamecast. Sign up. Uh, you can get access to our Discord channel. Uh, you can also do that by subbing to us on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Linux Gamecast. Get in there. Talk to us. We're there the other six days of the week. We're hanging out. If you want to talk to Mr. Fox Dog, and I don't know why you would, you can. It's He's, he's in Discord. Uh, you can also RSVP to game streams. I do... Um, well, last week we did uh, last week we did Armella, but this week we're back to Borderlands. Oh, did you Thursday. guys uh, try it out on the uh, Linux builds are back? Right? Yes, how did yes. that work out? I've been to ask it you that. Work, works fine. Right. Works perfectly fine. Yeah, ha back 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 to one hundred percent. That that was the uh, we were doing the uh, the Linux network test for the new Armello, uh, right? New older Armello, anyways. But we're back on yeah, Borderlands yeah. on Thursdays. Trackmania is on Tuesdays and Fridays. If you want to join in on that, yeah, get into our Discord. Details for all, how to do all that stuff is in there. We got a store, store.linuxgamecast.com. You can cover yourself in LGC apparel, thus continuing to fill our money tubs, and you can fill your tubs with stickers and 
tote bags, t-shirts, mm. hoodies, Tote all that touch. good stuff. We got Witch Zones, LinuxTeamCast.com. Put your mouse over the buttons, the support button. I have one. Sit back and relax and look in awe at the price of oh. not, not a fancy <laughs> one, just a regular, ordinary, borderline, <laughs> bottom of the barrel XFS. Uh, one 7900 XC, $1,400. $1,400 for the basic bitch oh, one, man. man. Oh, man. I heard. I got, uh, I got one for the studio. If you want your name back here, in lights and all that fun stuff. It will happen, and trust me, Daddy is going to be building an epic. Wrong button. Um, <laughs> Linux update of the week. So we need, a, we need a fun size motherboard. We need RAM and that. There's other things like HDMI cables and shit like that. There's that little fan I found, man. That oh, was, yeah, yeah mm-hmm. that was the only one. Only one from a name I could pronounce. Uh, keyboard, nobody get the keyboard. Uh, yeah. Pronounce? Right. So we do need to thank our latest patron, who is uh, George. George. He's the new executive producer. Hey. Helping us out doing that. I want to thank Gamertron for the resub. I want to thank Norse Ranger for the resub. And uh, yeah, let's rock on. Let's do some fun shit in 2023. Yeah, yeah let's do it. I'll get rid of the penguin. Go away, penguin. You've done. Penguin be gone. Shilling. Go, 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 go. I got to find it. That's the problem. I don't. There we go. go. Ah, I banish you. Go back to the shadow. But the reason I wanted to show off um, how ridiculously priced that AMD graphics card is in Space Canada <laughs> is our first bit of news from Tom's <laughs> Hardware. I want everyone to clutch your pearls for desktop GPU sales uh, have hit a 20-year low. You know, the amount of shipped GPUs is down damn near half from last year. Now, again, th- this could be, you know, down to the price of GPUs being kind of crazy, or maybe APUs are getting better. Spoilers, it's a fucking price. And, uh, you know, here's what we're looking at, kids. Two years of just straight unobtainium, followed by $1,000 cards. And both from AMD, I'm sorry, AMD, 999. You're better somehow. You're like the good type of cancer on this <laughs> yeah, one. Yeah, lock that's better. Yeah. yeah, coming out. It's, like, it's, it's, it's affordable, you guys. You were the chosen one, AMD. <laughs> And I, I had to go back and look, man, just like looking through all this stuff and these charts and these number digits. Cause like seven years ago, seven years ago, the top of the line, the 980, I know this cause I got one in a drawer down there, um, was 550 bucks, 530 bucks, you know, five, let's just say 500 ish. And the 970 was $300 and it was 199 for the 960 and you could get a 950 for a buck 50. That was the stack. Seven whole years ago in the dark times, a long, long ago. Now, nine ninety nine. Nvidia had a nine ninety nine card back then. I'm not talking about Quattro's. So that's a different level of pricing. But for nine ninety nine, seven years ago, you could get a thing called a Titan, and a Titan that was a completely unreasonable card made out of want. That was the card that we see. So, uh, yeah, if you won the lottery, yeah, yeah, I'd get yeah, a yeah, Titan, yep. man. Just like yeah, fuck yeah, just just to have it because it was so unchained, so unhinged. To normalize this, to normalize, even if you adjust for inflation, the prices for the current gen AMD and NVIDIA, both of those cards fall into a category I like, I like just call bullshit because that's what it is. Like, it doesn't make any sense. And like, NVIDIA even confirmed this week. They confirmed this week. There will be a 4070 Ti. However, you've already seen it because it is legitimately the unlaunched 4080 12 gig. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and, but we're NVIDIA, you know, we're not price gouging or anything like that. We're just going to shave a hundred dollars <laughs> off the top of that because, you know, we can, because it doesn't cost us anywhere near that to ever uh, make these. We're, we got to make them. So what are your thoughts on this, uh, Michael? What do you, what do you think? Yeah. Well, I feel like the cards are not being sold because a, hey, yeah, the cost is so high and crypto tanking, it's just falling through the floor. Going from like seventy, uh, forty thousand 40,000 in, back in April down to 16,000 per coin isn't just not cost effective to mine anymore. So no one's just buying them. Everyone's just throwing them on the second hand market and the second hand people are just selling them for an arm and a leg. And so it's just that the games between generations, like we had the 30 series in earlier this year, and then we got the 40 series and there's not much difference between them. So why bother? Buying Incorrect. Them? The miners and scalpers had the thirty series. Ah, I, yes. I, I, I mean, that, that, that was it, right? Like the like 
uh, miners and scalpers were buying them by the pallet. Uh, NVIDIA, decided, NVIDIA and AMD decided that, hey, let's just increase our prices across the board. They did. Only the only the miners could afford them because, you know, crypto was making all the ducats. And now yeah. and now now that uh, Ethereum has moved to proof stake, now that you can't really mine Bitcoin off of video cards anymore. Yeah. You know, you know, that 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 high that high demand, that that high margin no longer exists. Um, and that, that contributes to it. Like, um the the and that that's not even considering like the actual thing we're talking about in terms of like gaming GPU sales, like because for most people 1080p 60 is honestly good enough and right now the cards that are on the market are more than capable of delivering 1080p 60 to basically everyone for a pretty reasonable price point. This is why you have stuff like the 1650 and the 1060 and the RT RX 480 as the top cards on Steam is because those actually play the games that people want to play at reasonable frame rates at a reasonable resolution. And, you know, higher resolutions, more fiddly textures and shadows will only really go so far. We've kind of hit like this more law, Moore's law edge of like how pretty we can make these games look and like, yeah, like increasing the resolution. Sure. You can hide all the pixels and all, all the blah, blah, blah. But at the end of the day, you're not, it's, it's not, it's, it's not much more. It's, it's a very, very minor move of the dial from the previous generation. As Foxy said, it's becoming harder and harder to justify these purchases, especially when you have people like NVIDIA or AMD. They're like, yeah, nine ninety nine is our affordable thing. Yeah. It's $1,400 yeah, yeah. Canadian. The, 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 the new 4070 that's coming out, that's still 1200 Canadian. That's like well out of my price range. There's yeah, mid range. Yeah. What's that? It's. Always interesting to look at. I was having a thing about that. And I mean, first of all, in NVIDIA and all the AIB partners, uh, especially with the crypto thing, to remind me of Jerry from Rick and Morty. It's like, we well, just uh, kept raising the price and they kept buying them, you know? And then I was like, you, you got to let go of that. But oh, nine, oh. we, we, we got we to gotta give Intel props. They got I, 4% I'm, of the market share. 4%. <laughs> yeah, all those are review copies. <laughs> this, is, this is kind of like the. Thing that we've seen this year with the launch of arc and the high-end you know arc series uh we know what you can make one for if your goal is just to get it out and you know break even we saw that with a 780 350 bucks like i went to newegg today and looked i'm like hey you can buy one 349 dollars 16 gig now it's you know arguably as fast as a 3060 on a good day if you squint but prices like this this insanity, like NVIDIA, AMD, do you want people to go back to console gaming? Because like, if I'm somebody whose primary focus is gaming, fucking PC gaming is off the, like, I'm just going to get a PS5 or I'm going to, I, I think AMD still wins either way. Cause they're still making all the chips for these fucking consoles. So they would, they would just oh, as yeah, rather yeah. you, you know, not, not buy that 7,900 XPX. I'm sure they would much rather it. you buy the GPU, man, because of the sure, markup sure. on that. Sure, yeah, yeah, but yeah, you know but they're, they're, they're still not, they're still not going to be hurting if you're going to buy an Xbox or a PlayStation, right? Like it's it's ridiculous. Thousand dollar GPUs. We're talking about consumer GPUs again. We're not even talking about like the uh, like the WX series from AMD or the uh, Quadros. You know the, those the, those the you expect, series. yeah, like the twelve hundred fifteen hundred dollars. I'm like, yeah, that makes sense, man. And those things are built to a different spec and all that. We're just talking about gaming PCs. And gaming GPU is something that triggered like a 999 is the same price it costs for a mastering converter sound card for a studio. Ask me how I know that Nine, <laughs> yeah. 999 is the cost of the rest of the fucking computer. Less right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. More. So like motherboards are even cheaper than that. CPUs um, are cheaper than that. I, I want to say, you know, a lot of it's not even self-restraint. It's just that ridiculous price. A lot of us are looking at that just going, no, uh, -uh. No, we're gonna draw the line yeah, right there. Exactly you, right. I can wait. And we were talking during the pre-pre super shows. What were we doing? Cruising for twenty eighty TIs. Why? That's a still a badass card, man. A two generation yeah. old card still crushes some things. And a lot of us never got to taste the thirty series. Like that was like the last generation. A lot of us would be more than pleased to get a thirty eighty for five hundred bucks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Like, yeah, I'm I mean, just not. I'm not concerned at all what the 40 series is bringing to the table right now, and you got plenty of supply. There's just not enough need. So I'm kind of proud of everybody. Just go. Nope, uh, not having that. I, the, the the other thing too is once upon once upon a time, you know, when the new cards came out, the old cards dropped in price. That's not mm -hmm. happening anymore. It's, no, yeah. not at all. 
Well, I, got okay. a big I, I, it's like a, it's a weird market too, though, isn't it? Yeah. Like somewhere there's a lot of these cards floating around, especially with the 30 series, like that just haven't surfaced yet. And I, I'm waiting, like, where's that at? Because those cards exist, unless like yeah. Nvidia's actively going to miners and like, hey, if you destroy these, we'll give you some money. Oh, they're 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 burying <laughs> them in the desert right next to the right. fucking Atari right. ET yeah, cartridges. Yeah, they're, yeah. they're giving them some ET. You know, to keep the, uh, I don't know, gentlemen. I don't know. Let's talk about some good news, though. There's a new dev snapshot. Uh, Godot, from somebody who's actually used Godot. Tell us about it. Uh, so, yes, Godot, the pre-release of 4.0 Beta 10. And this is just your uh, the the betas that have been releasing every couple of weeks, two, three weeks or so. And this one's not overly massive, but it's got some very important things. Got some lot of fixes, improvements into the animation, navigation, GD script, and the rendering itself. You've got a configuration of your FBX files now, so you can actually tell you where the FBX convert- converter is, because due to the no. licensing agreements of F- FBX, it can't actually be put into Godot itself. Blender F- suffers F- from FBX the same for issue. Uh, for those of you who don't know is the Autodesk format, Autodesk popular yes. 3D editor it, that yeah. people use it, for games. Thankfully. Thankfully, the FBX format is slowly fading away, being replaced with, um, I was going to say Collada there, no, um, Alembic and new Universal Scene Descriptors, stuff like that. And they, on the last release, they removed all the degrees properties from the 2D and 3D objects. And so some people don't like dealing in radians, so. I don't. They kicked radians up a are dumb. And they put, yeah, what, what, I still what, 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 is, what is I still can't understand math? radians. Damn it, bring back thermo feet. <laughs> Give me my nanometers and nano feet. Nano feet. Tiny tiny feet. Yada feet. <laughs> Pico feet. So they've put the degrees of properties back in of the of your 2D and 3D objects, so you can do your nice little degrees range of motion through your degrees rather than radians. And how, how many pi? Uh, how far of the circle do you want? Seven. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I, I want like cherry. <laughs> and there's a few more things, uh, smaller features like, um, uh, setting defaults for your settings. So you can have your same defaults, which is a good design decision through any software. Make sure you have your same defaults and navigation can now be defined by your tile set rather than drawing out your level, then drawing out the navigation meshes. So you can just, so if you update your tile set, your navigation gets updated quite all right. You don't have to go through every level and remove all your meshes. And, uh, what was this? Da, 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 da. And, and you died. Oh, and that's died. probably on me because I'm opening the good old web editor right now. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I might be using all the available bandwidth. Um, uh, <laughs> would you like me to re- refresh? <laughs> uh... Yeah, because yeah, Jordan's going to tell us about our next story, which is a Vikmeezy one. Vic, Vic me. Yeah, uh, Open Source Heroes of Might and Magic um, It's out. They have a new release, 1.1. 1. 1. Uh, this adds iOS support. Hey, online multiplayer. Oh, shit, son. This open source game. The open source engine re-implementation has hell, online man? multiplayer. I just want your Steam remote play. This yeah. bullshit yeah, just online where's, where's multiplayer. Where's the remote? Like, like, again, come on. E- e- every- Every time, every fucking time I see a game in the Steam segment and it's like no online multiplayer, it's like to open source projects. These these are hobbyists who figured this out. You're <laughs> charging money for this shit. Uh, but yeah, the uh, map editor is a lot more cross-platform now uh, and the AI is a little bit smarter. It will run away to try and live another day. There's also another number of like, um, there's other um, release notes in the change log, mostly affects stuff that people care about if you are an active player of uh, Heroes of Might and Magic 3. So definitely, definitely go check it out. It's nor- Normally, Pedro is the one who gushes about this. I'm not that big a Heroes of Might and Magic fan. Dude, I'm just trying to find some, uh, nah. you know, well enough done web zone, well enough lens, well oh, enough, yeah. but holy hell, have you managed to avoid putting a picture of your damn game on it? That's, yes. that's because you got to show a screenshot of Heroes of Might it and is. Magic. Where is it? <laughs> it look. Th- this looks like a leather leather table, though, like a leather tablecloth. Uh, um. Okay. Uh, it looks like uh, a texture used in the nineties or something. I don't know. 
I just Here ordered. Here's the Mighty Magic Three. Yeah. Hold, hold on. I I I got so I got a screenshot for you. So if you do CMI, you can do. Uh, it's available on Android, Linux, Mac OS, Windows, and somehow iOS. Um, easy enough to build from source. All right, copyright and license. And uh, Jordan has wrote to me, and he says asterisk, asterisk, asterisk. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, okay. I'll say yeah. True words have never yep. been spoken. Fuck. Yep. Fancy. How do you even pronounce this next one? Nakari. Uh, na- Nakari? Nakari. Nakari. Well, we got a new release of Nakari, this space elite game on the budget. Look at those screenshots and videos, bitches. That's what I like seeing. Yeah, look at that. Give me some of those videos. It's got really nice mouse controls. You can swap between keyboard and mouse on the fly. What you do, you fly around to different planets, you pick up people, you do supply runs. Basically, it is very much Elite Dangerous on a budget pri- pri- with programmer art all the way through it. What's yeah. that? Uh, or, yeah. or Privateer if, you, if you're an old Yeah, or Privateer if you know. At least in this one, you can actually build yourself a fleet of ships where you can't in Elite. So you yeah. can get yourself a nice fleet going out. Yeah. Uh, so uh, there, there's, some, uh, there's a bunch of uh, notes here. It's a, it's a, it's a big one uh, for version Ooh, not 5.0. Uh, yeah, so they fixed a 14-year-old bug, apparently. Um, <laughs> the game universe has been completely redone. So um, different plan- are, now planets are selling different stuff. Some planets have been moved or removed. Um, they've also fixed a bunch of dead-end systems. And the oh, dead-end shit. systems... Oh, shit. They buffed the rotary turbo modulator. <laughs> oh, shit, yeah. Um, Gotta get those yeah. rotaries in. The, the idea behind the map redesign is uh, it creates uh, more consistent resp- experience moving redundant planets uh, and the redundancies and dead ends that are there are like filled with good shit. So you have a reason to actually be there. Seems like a good step if now that they've solicited feedback from their players about like the state of the map. So they're uh, they're streaming those in. And yeah, a bunch of other balance fixes that probably only matter to you if you clear if you care about Naikari. But hey, it's it's cool. I um, I downloaded it. It's a handy dandy app image and it runs. An app image? Yes. yes. An app image. Oh, man. Yes. Shouldn't I have to install like a third-party thing to install the containerized yeah, package? Yeah, you got to install yeah. Snap, man. You, what about you Flatpak? Snap, to, snap. I mean, you, you can install Snap to Flat, I guess. I, flat I don't pack, know. Yeah, snap to Flat to image, App Image. Flappity Snap Image Pack. Run, 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 run it through Alien, produce an RPM that like you can install RPM on Fedora dead. Core 1. Slack packs, baby. Slack yeah. packs. <laughs> All right. Mortal Kombat is in the news. Recently, it absolutely. I'm sorry, is. it's pronounced Mortal Kombat. You see, I had that for the fucking Sega CD, and I it had that commercial every mothering time you launched that game. You had to watch it, and I got <laughs> the best the Sega CD could do was in a postage stamp size. You're like, Burr. I hate that. That, that, hits, that hits home, man. That hits deep. So, I like to think it's Mortal Kombat 2, is what we're about to talk about. is Probably, if not the last fighting game that I'd consider myself competent before I tapped out, before combos really became a thing. And I'm like, I, this is beyond my ability. I could hold my own in the arcade in Mortal Kombat 2. Good news, though. Mortal Kombat 2 uh, kind of went open source. <laughs> Yeah, I like how they out. show this screenshot shot of like MK11 as if this is right. Mortal Kombat 2. Like, whatever the hell that's supposed to be, man. Um, this hey, absolutely happened. Kombat, still same characters. I'm yeah, very Mortal happy Mortal to Kombat, see this. I, I, that's 11. Yeah, sure. <laughs> uh, released in 1993. Don't math that out. You will feel ancient. And it's, it's on GitHub. It is a historical it source. Is, yeah. It's all there, all the assets. And I was going through them, looking around. I watched like a two hour long video of somebody just like rolling through of the like lost animations there's a shang sung like flip animation like a historical stuff that i was always kind of interested yeah. but if we can finally get like goku pennywise and boss baby in mk2 looking forward to that i think that's going to be nice you want peter griffin in there but I'm yes like, i want whatever. peter griffin you, 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 th- you think you think ed boon uh, is still going to maintain that there are more hidden secrets in mk2 bitch i better find okay whoever finds <laughs> nude allities, man oh yes remember the, 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 dude, yes. had, the, in, for information we didn't it was limited back then we're talking 1993 oh, yeah, like, yeah they, play, playground shit yeah yeah, yeah there was my, my, my uncle at nintendo yeah, exactly yeah. uh rolling around on uh hey maybe we can get some net code slapped into something like this some rollback net code but uh yeah i do want those new realities. not really but that would be hilarious if there was even a mention of that in there because that <laughs> used to be a thing uh yeah just happy to see this preservation was 
it's you know you can't stress on this and it looks like wb's like well fuck i mean it's from 1993 right so yeah uh, I, I, i'm not sure there, 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 there is a lot of intellectual property in there, though, so I, I don't know. I do hope, though, that they let this exist, just so, you know, like a beloved game like Mortal Kombat 2 can be studied and dissected and preserved. Uh, and yeah, all the crazy fucking MK2 mods, man, like, come on. <laughs> this, 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 this is what we really want. Uh, I poked around the source code a little bit. There are actually make files in here, so you could theoretically get this compiled if you were so inclined. Um but yeah, no, this, there's this a good neat. video. It's called Mortal Kombat 2 Source Code leaked in all caps. And it is like a two hour long. Go ahead and watch it. It's going through all the audio samples, the, you know, animations, Goro animations, unused things that we never knew about. And like, it, it's just there for neat snick pick. And I'm very happy to see it. There's plenty of uh, threads on Twitter of people dissecting, you know, getting out the chicken bones and like reading stuff that probably isn't even a thing. Look at that big stabby fist. Crunch, crunch, yeah, crunch. Big stabby fist. Ow. <laughs> well, I, I went through this, and it's a good thing that Ed Boon knows how to comment his code. And I saw Linux Nero do the toasty thing, and I was actually looking through the main ASM file, and on the play one input, they had toasty check. There's literally a function called toasty check. <laughs> toasty check. Toasty oh, check. Man. And toasty other check. little comments there. You know what? That, yeah, that's so, going to be a fun thing to like search through, right? Yeah, yeah like- and. <laughs> what, 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 what kind of like insane Ed Boon comments can you find in the MK2 yeah, source yeah. code? Uh, well, I, I already found the MK toast, baby. Um, yeah. <laughs> Toasty. And yeah, it's all in um, 6 to 800 assembly, but built around the Midway arcade machine. So noob, noob, yeah, noob. Noob check. Yep. Noob, yeah, noob check. Noob check. Noob, 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 noob one. Noob seven. Oh, shit. This, this is like commented, commented. Look at these yeah, motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, I, I guess if you're doing assembly, right? Like, it's not like C code where you can read it and you have a shot at understanding what it's doing. Well, I yeah. mean, like, this is like line for line, dude. I would like, yeah. if you might get a thing point here for me, but like, look at yeah. this shit. Yep. Yeah. yeah, yeah it, like I said, comment. And does I mean, code it's well. a far damn cry from saying that's human readable, but you can work with that easy. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. I'm I'm happy to see it. Happy to see it. Is oh, there man. anything we we keep on threatening to like? Because I know some of the NES emulators have a online multi. You know they've hacked up. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, Netplay on the. Yeah. So I I would love this. I would go buy an arcade fighting stick if we could get like a nice native build with multiplayer. Oh, yeah. 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 With, 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 with some Vulcan and some ray tracing. <laughs> We think about that. You, <laughs> you could. You can't. You could. Well, you, we yeah. joked about it. Uh, but yeah, like proper widescreen support. Uh, well, you could S- make SDL2, like a, so it like works with every controller. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Well, you could build this in like a DAO and have a little internal file translators for all these. <laughs> yes, let's put another player of bullshit on top of let, it. Let, let, yeah, let, I mean, yeah. Yeah, you know you know what? Sure, fuck it. Do it. Re- completely with the source code. Reverse engineer MK2 in mm-hmm. Godot. Yeah. Do yes. it. Yeah. Go for it. Do it. <laughs> Make it a thing. Yep. yep. All right. Uh, so I do want to tell everyone, um, you know, since Pedro's not here, we're not going to be doing a trick acquisition, but we still got some hate mail for you. We do. Right? We do. What's it about? Coming up next. Gets a little hazy in here. Oh, shit. It's over. Oh, my God. It's finally 9, happening. Yeah, we're, we're in a thousand. I was doing strong bad, man. You people don't need to need to spend more time on the Internet. Yeah, it's the end of the show. It's where we take a time, take the time to stop screaming at your direction. Let you scream back in our direction. If you have stuff to say to us, you can get to us via our contact page. Uh, head on over to linuxteamcast.com. Put your mouse over the sip or go to the contact button. Fill out the form. Uh, include um, include all your contact information. Don't include any links or images because the spam golem will eat them. It will go. Nom, 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 nom. Yeah. Nom, 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 nom. If, you, if you want to send us a game to take a look at, we're going to need uh, three keys, three copies, something to test it out between oh, yeah. three people. Dude, there's even a handy link to our Steam Curator page because I could never Ooh. remember the URL. So I Whee. put it there so we can yes. get to our. Um... In, indeed. Uh, yeah. If, uh, if you're going to advertise about crowdfunding campaigns, we're going to need a Linux demo at least. Uh, so yeah, uh, scroll down, pick your topic, put your name, all that crap, uh, hit submit, and then you show up in this lovely little Bradley segment that we do. Hey, um, first, man, if you're working on a game or something like that, uh, project, open source, uh, hit us up. Like yeah, to have um, it on the show. It's pretty easy to yeah, do. All you need is a computer. 
Yeah, or or if you're an open source developer or if you're a game developer and you want to come on the show and talk about your stuff. Yes. We'd love to have you on. Free adverts. All right. Yeah. Uh, I want to I want to talk about this, man. Uh, All right. Know, yeah. Which is the wrong button. Let's try this. All right. Yeah, that will do. <laughs> Foggy. Ayrton writes in, uh, as Jordan was uh, 420, blaze it, YOLO, with that fog machine. Um, for some odd reason, I find the fog machine kind of funny. And it makes Jordan look more mysterious, which is yeah. not impossible. Well, yeah, well, it's as mysterious as a Canadian can get. I'm, I'm, I'm a mystery trapped, tra- wrapped in a middle, riddle, wrapped in a Twinkie. Wrapped in a yeah. middle twiddle. Uh, <laughs> what is... Uh, Slammed the- into an enigma. No, no. For me, though, what's Blended in the box? In an enigma. What's the, the box? box? The mystery <laughs> box. What's yeah. Box? What's, 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 what's in the box? Oh, uh, huh? mis- mis- miscellaneous stuff. We've been over this, uh, but you know, Ooh, we, right. there, there's there's uh, a screwdriver set. Okay. All right. Yeah. A um, doob tubes. What the fuck's that? What's that? Can- yeah. They're cannabis containers from. Ah, like, fair enough. Doob tubes. Ah, yes. Got it. Got it. Got it. Um, um, there's a DVD copy of Bee and Puppy Cat. What the actual? <laughs> okay, sure. A, a stick of deodorant. <laughs> As one uh, does. Yep. Some medical tape. Andy? A laptop battery. Oh, shit. Uh, okay. A sock. <laughs> <laughs> For the battery. Three hard drives. I'm not going to take them out. An LTE modem. Right. A yo-yo, a glow-in-the-dark oh, yo-yo. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Chapstick. All right. All right. A bottle cap for Coca-Cola for some reason. Just in case. Yep, just pro- in case. Pro- oh, probably because I that, that's actually that probably goes in the garbage. <laughs> oh, and R.I.P. bottle cappy. R.I.P. bottle cap. Bye, cappy. Um, uh, old badge for a fan expo. Right. A flint for, like, a fire starter. All right, cool. Like it. Yeah. And oh, USB cable. And the piece de resistance. Well, yes. they're, they're, cables. They're, they're, there you go. That That is what's in Jordan's box of miscellaneous shit. Bike me's <laughs> correct. That is Jordan's go box. Um, All I'm saying is if you purchase an LGC gift box, that shit's lit, son. Um, yeah, yeah. Loot, L- LGC loot box. <laughs> <laughs> Brought to you by HelloFresh. Not a sponsor. Got any special them. oils for the smoke yet? No, I just have the 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 fog juice that Oil of Hope sent me. Uh, the, the, the literal Oil of Hope. It is the Oil of Hope, man. It's an oil of mystery, which hopefully has been thickened. Yeah, thick yes. oil. I need to get that connected over the IP. So yeah. Something I do. Uh, we've talked about it a couple times, just in passing. Is uh, you know, if I see like, somebody in need, I'm like, hey, I can make the thing, and that's for people who want to practice mixing audio. And like, they want to like, Hey, I want to move into like editing podcasts and shows and stuff like that. Having well-recorded stuff available for free to use. And I constantly see that on our podcasting people going, Hey, where do I get this? And I'm like, here, I put it yeah. on our web arc archive.org webpage. You can just download it. It's high quality. Yeah. It's not processed. And you can always say, Hey, I can go back and check the unprocessed stuff against uh, the actual podcast that we put up. Yeah. Uh, so Scott, Scott has a question about this. He says, hello, my name is Scott Clayton, and I'm an audio engineer currently trying to Hi, build Scott. my career. I was searching for raw podcast audio with permissive license to practice editing when I came across the post on Reddit that claimed you were offering that exact thing. So I followed the link and downloaded the files. Long story short, I wanted to double check if I have your permission to publicly display the work in my portfolio for future clients to view. Obviously, I will make it clear that I'm only responsible for the edits as well as credit you in the metadata, and I will include a link back to your website. It's a reasonable request. Um, hundred percent. And I guess I do want to say, uh, thank you for asking permission, uh, instead of like forgiveness, which is always good. I will say uh, archive.org, uh, just type in, you know, archive.org, you know, Linux gamecast and you'll find a uh, web amp. Oh my God. You know, web amp, man. It really <laughs> spanks the llama's beta. Uh, llama. However, clearly here on the page, uh, it, it's a non-commercial share like 4.0 international which are free to use download play around with and you know learn from however it's that non-commercial bit yeah and i actually had to think about this for a minute now this was like twofold one i being in like your commercial portfolio i'm like i don't want anyone to think that somebody else is editing the show i want that atrocity to be me alone 
sole responsibility. Like this sucks. <laughs> and I'm like, I'll take responsibility for that. It's all my fault. Yeah. But more importantly, the whole non-commercial thing is like, if you're selling a service with this and as entertaining as it would be for us to be bouncing around in some professional portfolio, uh, got to, got to say no, but I mean, that's what it says on the license. But I, again, I appreciate that you asked and I wrote back. Yeah. And yeah I said, that's always, always good. It's always good to do. So, um, uh, is that going to do it? I, th- I think, I yeah, think yeah. so. Do, do we, do we got anything else we got to say about the creative commons license and copyleft in general? Uh, just respect it. And, uh, don't make me enforce it because I'll get content uh, out of don't it. Don't be signing and ignore it. Or geez, man, we can go through a oh, list man. of what, what if what if Sony tried to claim ownership of Linux Gamecast? That would be a fun. Oh, man. <laughs> they tried to claim ownership of Sindel, so they could. I, they have, I have a very interesting. Um, like I, I've got to find an. I, I sent a email to Twitch support because I did the live stream when I built the rectangle on Thursday, right? Mm-hmm. And I just had background music playing from um, the LGC playlist, and like one song or two songs. I was looking at the uh, video from after, and it's like, we've we muted sections of the song due to uh, potential copyright infringement. Yeah, I don't think it's infringement, mm-hmm. but like, whatever. Like, I want to know who that is, because I'm almost 100% sure I have a PDF with a license for every fucking yeah, thing that we absolutely. play that I paid money for. So, um, yeah. aww. Mm, that's the, that's the, end, that's the end of the show. I gotta put my Deedly Whoppers on again. Gotta put the Deedly Whoppers back on. No more mystery <laughs> in the box. Ladies and gentlemen, on that, end of the year, box of bombshells. You can always get a hold of me. Just at Vinstone on the Twitter, that's the little thing. And we have mass.linuxgamecast.com. Put me in your federated timeline. I'm at Vin. Over there doing the things, typing things. As always, hop into our Discord if you're a Twitch subscriber or one of our beautiful party patrons. We're there talking. We're there 100% available. That's one thing I've never liked, is being unavailable. You got a question? All men then. It's got answers. I am Mr. Wappen of Deedly. Ask Jordan. Ask me. Sure, why not? <laughs> uh, you can ask me questions on Twitter or Mastodon at the Burning Fool or Mast- or Frojo at mass.linuxgamecast.com. Uh, I may or may not answer them. Yeah. You just tell him to ask Pedro. I c- uh, no, I'm going to tell him to ask Foxy. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, for those who want to ask me questions, you can find me on Mastodon at and foxdog at mass.linuxgamecast.com I just mainly boost pictures of foxes and rabbits it's and say weird, weird silly shit <laughs> I like how foxy has the thing Pedro it took a long time to get over I'm like yeah hey, we're just casual talking it's like oh now it's time to say the thing and stuff it's adorable I love it I love <laughs> it it's, it's refreshing alright ladies and gentlemen here's some credits yes Maybe. possibly we'll see. we'll see if it fucks up <laughs> yeah, that that, that yeah, is yeah, most yeah, legacy that's bullshit. That's my job. LCC yep, cares. Yep. Legacy, the bane of my existence. <laughs> Linux anyway, legacy uh, cast, the legacy, Linux legacy part legs. five. Yep. Wow, this this DXO. is episode five forty one. We got to thank our advisors, Omegas and Artharon, our executive producers, scrolling on by. They are Bob Ram, Scott Michaud, Tom McCass, Mike G, Mike T, Drummer, Kaku, George, Pebble, Tomaj, Unoid. We got our little Nikki fans. We're talking about little Nikki quite a bit. Super Dust Oat, and we got our Sea Monsters. They are Renaud LePage, Ryder X Machina, Paul, Vera Denuda, Justin Frosty, Nubbin, David Darkwing, System T, Dancing Joe, and Oogie Wan Kenobi. Death and on notes. the death notes, oh, go ahead, go ahead, battle. Australia. Yeah, hello, <laughs> Stephen B, Dirty Dean, Beck, Gamertron, Do- Dodger, Sathuris Gaming, Rogues, Turnover, CC Bacon, me, Swain, Over of Hope, and Crikey. Delude and Alex. Crikey. <laughs> <laughs> Look at these chairlings. We got Giovanni, Tundra. Joanna, Gronkle, Delonka, Monica, Good Minus Zen. Nine, Paradox Incredible Eat. Lyric, Ivandro, and of course Johnny. Douglas. You can't forget Johnny. Johnny. Up Johnny. 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 Help us build the studio. We got Carl. We got Mike, our Theorem, Linux, New, Aldis, Noctilus, John, Eshep, Gamatron, and Unoid. Special shout out again to DSM Joe and our Theorem for two other key components in the steam rectangle that we built uh on thursday thank you for that until next week die in a fire lovely people until Bye-bye. next year uh, god damn it until next year god damn Bye-bye. it you green star-headed soon. <laughs> 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 Uh, 
five dudes.